Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine. I can hear lots of you singing. Thank you. And welcome to school today. I'm so glad you're here. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's spring and it's a sunny day and we're ready to start right away. Let's go to calendar because there's lots to talk about and do today. We've been talking about rain and springtime and April showers and mud and life and God and love. So much to do. So let's go to calendar. The season is spring. Good. I'm going to use my pointer like you guys did. The month is April. April showers. There's an umbrella. The year is 2020. Let's count how many days of school have we had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're bundling them up. Good job. Put them in your tenth place. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. 15 and 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That makes another, whoop, another 10. Bundle it up, put it in your tens place. So that was two tens yesterday and zero ones left over. We put them both in our tens place. And what comes after 20? 20. One. We have, we have one more. Numbers never end. They keep going and going and going. Like Buzz Lightyear says, to infinity. That means forever. To infinity and beyond. Numbers keep going. That's 21. We had two tens and one more. Can we bundle this one more? No. So we have one extra in the ones place. And what does that say? Calendars mark special days. And this day says birthday. Where's our birthday there? It's Izzy's birthday in the afternoon class. How old are you, Izzy? Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? Are you four? Are you five? Yes, you're five years old. You belong to the five-year-old club. Congratulations, happy birthday. Should we play the birthday song right now? Oh, if you were here, you could push the button. Should we put them down so you can play? Let me put my pointer stick down. It's a big day when you turn five. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Izzy. Happy birthday to you. Oh, she's over here. of fun today and prizes, surprises and presents. The next time I see you on Zoom, we can talk all about it. You can tell us. Happy birthday being five and you should have found your crown. You have a birthday crown in your work packet to wear while you're doing your work today. Happy birthday. Today's my sister Sue's birthday too. So happy birthday to Sue. Happy birthday to you. I love you. Sometimes she watches, so maybe she's watching today. And we're going to have a Zoom with her tonight to see her. She lives far away. All right, happy birthday, birthday bear. Let's put him down right here, and he'll watch us today. All right, let's see what day of the week it is. Is it Sunday? No. Is it Monday? No, that was yesterday. We wrote our mud song. Is it Tuesday? Yes, Izzy's birthday's on a Tuesday, April 21, 21st day of April. Next time when Izzy has a birthday, it will be 2021 when she's turning six because the years keep going too, just like you are growing older and growing. The years keep going too. Numbers never end. Isn't that amazing? 
Let's change Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I wish you were here to do our magnet calendar. Today is Tuesday. Give me a T-U. Good job. Give me an E-S. E-S. Give me a D-A-Y. D-A-Y. What's that spell? Tuesday. Yay, Tuesday. Remember D-A-Y is that day? The afternoon class is learning to spell all those words. Good job. Tomorrow will be w Wacky Wednesday. W Wednesday. <clears throat> wacky Wednesday. W Willy Weasel Wednesday. Yesterday was Monday. Monday. Maybe tomorrow can be our Wacky Wednesday dress day. You should wear something wacky while you're watching us tomorrow. Maybe Mrs. Boat will put on something wacky. Tomorrow will be Wacky Wednesday, okay? So wear something wa wa willy weasel wacky. That means crazy fun. All right? That'll be tomorrow, wa Wednesday, because it's Willy Weasel's week. And he's kind of a wacky animal, isn't he? He's kind of funny. Okay, let's go. Every day we come to school, we put a counting stick in. So here's one, because every day we come, it's one more day. Do we put it in the hundreds place? No, we put it in the ones place, don't we? Do you remember Zero the Hero was here yesterday? Because there was a zero on the end. When we got 10 in our ones place, we had to carry them to our tens place. So now we ended up with three in our tens place and zero. We took them all out and put them over here, didn't we? We bundled them up and made a 10. So now we start over in the ones place. 130, 30, 1, 31. So we don't have a zero anymore. There's one in the one spot. He's all by himself, isn't he? Tomorrow we'll add another and another. We keep adding and the number grows bigger, bigger, bigger. Look at this number chart. Do you remember how we've talked about how numbers grow? Well, they're not living things. But when you add more to a number, the number gets bigger. And that's what we mean by it grows. So one elephant. And then if we add another, two hearts is one more, isn't it? Three, four. Do you see how five Ducks is more than just three flowers. See how it doesn't have a partner because it's more. And six red ducks. And seven is growing more than six. We can match these up. See how every dog has a star. Six dogs, six stars, but uh-oh, one more. Seven is one more. And it doesn't have a partner with six because it's more than six. We can look up here at six, a line and a loop. Six rolls a hoop, six. Here's six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You know how it shows one more. And let's look at seven close up. See how seven has six, but it, then it has one more to make seven across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a seven. Some of you are working on cute little books for number seven and number eight. You're learning all your numbers. And some of you big kids that are four turning five, you're working on teen numbers. That is so awesome. I can't wait to have you come back to school because you will be so smart. You can share it all with us. Let's go to our weather. It's sunny again today. So let's see what we're going to graph on our weather graph. Every day we graph weather information. And today we looked outside and it's a beautiful sunny day. I hope you can get outside and play today and exercise and have fun on this spring day that God gave us. And let's see. Purple, pink, blue. Purple, pink, Yes, blue. We're following a pattern, a pattern, a pattern. We're following a pattern. Can you tell me what it is? Patterns repeat over and over. And if you listen to it and look closely, 
you can figure out what's going to be next because it keeps repeating over and over and over. Purple, pink, blue, purple, pink, blue. Oh, you're right. I heard somebody say that Sunny's growing bigger. Sunny Tower is taller. It has more bars color, doesn't it? Maybe sunny will be more. That would be funny because I keep telling you that April has lots of rainy days. But look at this. We haven't had any rain yet. Not during school time. That is funny. You never know with springtime weather. Someday soon it will start to rain. Maybe you can put on your rain boots and your raincoat and your umbrella. Let's put the sunglasses on our bear because it's a sunny day weather bear. He can wear his sunglasses, can't he? All right, let's come over and see. Oh, I know, before we do our rug activities, our big circle time activities, let's look at our mud song that we wrote yesterday. Can we look at that? The mud song. The mud song. Mud is gooey, mud is brown, mud is wet, mud is sticky. Mud is messy, mud is squishy, mud is gross, and here's the best part, mud is stinky. Did you end with stinky? Good job, we wrote a pretty good song, didn't we? All about mud. Mud comes when the rain comes on the dirt, and then it mixes all, to, all the wa liquid water gets in the dirt, and it makes it mushy and gooey and sticky and fun to play in. Remember, you can play in the mud, but you have to ask mom and dad probably first and wear your old clothes and get some old tools that mom doesn't care about. And then when you're done, you have to be ready for a bath because it's muddy, muddy, messy stuff, okay? All right, now we can go, let's come over to the rug and see what we have today on this beautiful spring day. I bet you have a number puzzle at home. Do you have number puzzles? If you don't, maybe mom and dad can, can find one at the store for you to start using. I bet you do have shape puzzles and number puzzles at home. If you haven't gotten them out in a while, lots of people right now are doing puzzles when they can't go on trips or go away. So you can get out your puzzles. This one is a number puzzle. Numbers have an order, don't they? A special order or sequence. Zero, one, two, three, four. That's a fancy kind of a four, isn't it? Did you know that was a four? Yep. Five, fat old five with a big round belly. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. With the zero on the end. I'm going to just dump these out. Watch. Out they go. And let's just remember the order of numbers. What comes first? I love all these pretty colors. What comes first? Right, zero. First we have no gummy bears. Zero. We start with zero. That means we don't have any. And that, oh, look at on there. There's a beautiful kite on that puzzle. This puzzle doesn't have anything inside. Oh, I can't get it. Let's see, it won't come out there. There's nothing in there, it's empty, zero. But one kite, I see a one on that kite. So let's put that right here and find the one. Now, boys and girls, this one is kind of funny. And when some of you were here putting it together, we talked about it. It looks a little bit like a seven. Sometimes there's a little tap on a one. But you will see when we get to seven, it has a longer tap. One. Then what comes after one? There are two goats, aren't there? Around and back on the railroad track. So we find the two. What color is that two? Beautiful red, you know that's my favorite color. Zero, one, two. Then what comes next? Oh, it looks like there's zebras in there. One, two, three, round a tree, round a tree. That's the way to make a three. 
Now this four, one, two, three, four, are those frogs on a lily pad? They sure are, one, two, three, four. This is a f not the kind of four that we usually make. Down and across, then down once more. more. That's the way to make a four. Does that fit in this one? See, it has to fit in its own space. One, two, three, four. Cute little tigers. One, two, three, four, five. We're looking for fat oh five. Which one of these is fat oh five? Hmm, there it is with the big round tummy five. Zero. One, two, three, four, five. Six in the ten frame. Six is next, isn't it? Six suns. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, now this is going to be tricky if we look at these numbers. Hmm, look, they both look like sixes, don't they? Or they could be nines. We're just going to have to see which one fits. Let's try this one. Oh, it fits. Does the red one fit too? Yes, the red one fits too. So we can put either one because it's a line and a loop. We have to start at the top for a six, don't we? A line and then the loop. Six rolls a hoop. We like to say that one. Look at those cute little birds. Are there seven? Six, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now what does a seven look like? Let's look up here. We know that's not a seven. Oh, cross the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a seven. We have little seven books that you're probably working on this week at school, seven. I'm getting so smart and so grown up when you do all your work. Here's some little ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Watch, here's another way to count. I can go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which one is eight? Make an S, but do not wait. Go right back up. And make an eight. Oh, I hope this fits nine. Remember, we know that six and nine look a lot of like. But we have to turn it around. Nine has a big loop first on top. A loop is up high. A loop and a line. Oh, there's nine little angels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little angels. Nine and... What are those little blue things? Oh, balls of yarn. Ten balls of yarn. Kittens would love to play with that, wouldn't they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's hard to count that many. You have to go really slow. I kind of was going fast, wasn't I? But that's ten with the zero on the end. Now see how they're all in order. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I bet you would have put that together really fast if you were here. You're getting so good with numbers. And you big kids, you're going on ahead and doing teen numbers, aren't you? So let's look. I just want to find out what teen number is this. How many do I have today? Let's look at numbers and figure out how many we have. Look at all these cubes. We can connect them together. Remember, Mrs. Vogt says we bundle up how many to make a stick. How many can we hook together? Ten, right? We bundle up ten. So let's see. One, let's count our ten first before we hook them together. Let's and I like to move them when I'm counting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here's my group of ten. 
Wow, there's a lot left over. Look at all those extra little ones left over. Let's hook up our 10. Oh, moms and dads, sometimes the kids get these cubes and they make these long sticks all the way across the room. They love to fasten them together. But for math time, when we're count, counting numbers, we just use 10 sticks, don't we? And the big kids, this week you're gonna be doing worksheets that color 10 sticks. You can, your 10 stick looks like this and you'd color every one to make it 10. But wait, it's more than 10. How many extras do we have? Do you suppose we have 10 here too? Let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not 10, is it? So we cannot bundle it up and fasten it and call it a 10. It's not a 10 unless there's 10 cubes, right? So how many would this be all together if we have 10 and six little ones left over? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. 16. Oh, that's how old you are when you get to drive a car. 16 has six little ones left over. 16. That's a lot more than six. 16 is one group of 10 and six more. I have a card that will show you. Remember our big number cards like these up here? The numbers keep going. So after 10, we remember that we have an 11 and a 12. Here's 11 and 12 and 13 and 14 and 15. Here's the one I'm looking for, 16. Because that's how many cubes we had today. We had a 10 stick. Here's my 10 frame with all my 10, five and five. One 10 group and six little ones left over. Do you see boys and girls how we can't call this a 10 because it's not filled up? And we can't hook these up because there's not 10 but we can lay them down and show you one ten and six more. Look, one, two, three, four, five. I filled up the five and I added one more to make 16, 16. Can you imagine someday way in the future you will be 16 years old? Yes, every year you grow one year older. So five years old and then six and then seven, all the way to 16. So there's different ways to show 16. Here's a 10 and six in our 10 frames, or we can hook them together with our 10 stick. Sorry, we can't hook these together, can we? How many more would we need and then we could hook that together. One, two, three, four, right. If we had four more, then it would be another 10. We would have two 10s. This is called 16, just the way it is. One 10 and six more, 16. So we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. See the one and the six? One ten. There it is. One ten stick. One ten in the tens place. And six little ones left over. We can't put them in the tens place yet. 
because there's only six. Sixteen. I know you guys are working hard on those big numbers in the afternoon class. Good job. Keep working on that. And let's see. What, oh, I was going to do one more thing before we go today. And that is, remember this game where you have to just look quick and see what, what, what I'm showing you? Okay, what's this? How many did you see? Yes, that was an easy one. One. Good job. Now let's see with your little eyes. Oh, how many is it this time? Good. Three. Now, was I going too fast for you or did you know that? One, two, three. Good job. I made that a little fast. How about this one? Two. Yep. One, two. That's fewer than three, isn't it? That's a smaller number than three. Hear some of you saying what you think. Did you say five? You were right, right away. It went all the way across, didn't it? I had to make the circles a little smaller to get them all to fit. Did you notice that? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Like five little ducks went out to play. Remember that song? Oh no. It's five, yeah, five little ducks. And then we also had a song about the five speckled frogs sitting on the speckled log. Yeah, five is a good number to have songs about. What's that number? Did you see it? Fewer than five. That's only four, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Wow, you're getting good at that. That's learning numbers without even counting, just knowing it in your head. That's called subitize. Yes, yeah, some of you, we've talked about that. When you just know the number and you don't even have to count, it's called subitize. How did you know that was three? You say, I subitized it. Because you already know it in your head without even counting. That's called subitize. Isn't that a funny word? All right, I'll see you at, it's time to move and sing. Let's do some songs, and then we have a really good story today. Okay, see you there. <laughs>